first step in learning to cast is to learn the proper casting arc for a given length of line. This first drill will teach the proper casting arc or length of stroke for 15 feet of line. This drill should be done on a slick surface such as plastic, concrete, or gym floor. Pull 15 feet of line plus the leader out of the rod tip and lay it straight along the ground. Now there are several grips that can be used in fly casting. An offset grip, thumb on top grip, or finger on top. I suggest that you use the simple thumb on top grip. This should be relaxed, not a death grip. Now hold the rod in this manner with the line pinned under your fingers. Don't let the line slip. With a square stance, face 90 degrees from the target. The tip of the rod should be inches from the ground. Hold your hand in front of you about waist high with the palm facing up. Now using the rod, slide the line along the ground and stop the rod. A loop will form. The most important part is the stop. Once you are moving the line, you must stop the rod. Stop the rod. Make sure to use just enough power to straighten the line. Do this by using only a small amount of wrist and a large portion of forearm and upper arm. Let's watch. This is very important. Don't use a large amount of wrist. A real wristy stroke will work for short line, but when line is added, it becomes very difficult to keep the rod tip moving in a straight line. Let's watch a few more good strokes. Notice the positive stop. Watch the loop shape as the line rolls out. Now you must judge the size of the loops that you are sliding on the ground. If the loop is wider than two feet, shorten the length of stroke used. Let's watch that again. If you are throwing wide loops, then shorten the stroke. This will throw a tighter loop. If the loop tangles or crosses itself, forming a tailing loop, then lengthen the stroke. See the tailing loop? Now lengthen the stroke. This will form a U-shaped loop. As you repeatedly slide the line back and forth, adjust the stroke length until the loops are U-shaped with one to two feet of width. When you can consistently slide U-shaped loops along the ground, it's time to move to the next step. 